What's going on here, guys? It's Janky KF, and we're back with a uh, a video, uh, a bit of a guide this time. So we have the Dell G5 PC here, and we're just gonna install a new stick of RAM in. I'm with uh, my good friend JH. Is that yeah? Yeah. Do you wanna? That's my name. Yeah. Yeah. This is the RAM right here. Absolutely. I'm giving it away to my friend. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So Let's thank do you. It. Absolutely. Um. So make sure you guys check out the channel. His channel. We're gonna link it. Uh, in the description, so make sure you guys check that out. So the first step here is we have two screws on the back of the PC that we're gonna we're gonna unscrew, and then I think it doesn't come out all the way. You just kind of pull it, and it comes out. So then you pull. Maybe you do this because I'm holding the camera. All right, here we go, and then we see the inside. Wow. wow. So we see in there. There's the uh, there's the single stick of. 8 gigabyte RAM that I currently have, and we have four. What is it? Slots? Slots? Yeah. That you can put it in. Do you know which one to put it in? I think so. Qu which no. one? No. <laughs> I think you should just stick it into the white. Like it's the same color, right? Or, That's why it's color coded. Wait. wait, but this one's together and that one's together. Dude, I they didn't say it was this hard. Okay, well we're gonna. Oh yeah, I went back. So we figured it out. It's actually you wanna. Put it in the same color to get that full dual channel action in there. So you see we have the whites and the blacks. So we already have one in the white. So this one's got to go in the other white to make sure it's a dual channel. So here we go. You flip back and just kind of slice it in there. Did it click? Did it click? I think it clicked, right? Oh, wait. Did it click? I think it's in there. Oh, you have to kind of put this in, right? <laughs> well, okay. Here, I think like, you have to press harder. Maybe. You have to press harder. Oh, bro, that that don't look right. Oh, oh well, if, yeah, if the level is if it's at the same level, then that should be in, right? right? Oh, is that it? All right. Because if it's the same level, oh wait, this one's a little higher, I think. Yeah. I think you have to push it more. More? Wait. Oh, that doesn't sound right, dude. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound right. <laughs> All right, pause. so. Uh, the key is, uh, it might be scary at first because you know there's a lot of tech and everything sounds flimsy, but the trick is you just gotta shove it in real hard. I ain't gonna take it out because I'm too scared to shove it back in in case I break it. But what I did was I just kind of pushed on the two ends and then eventually if you push hard enough, these two bits will snap in and lock the memory in place. So now that the memory is in, we're gonna put the PC back together, uh, boot it up and see if we got it working. So on boot up, we see a we see a quick performance check with the amount of system memory has changed, which I think I, we can just go continue, right? I don't think there's a reason to go into the BIOS. Yeah. Yeah. So that means the why is my sensitivity so high? Jesus. Play on that sensitivity high. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, all right, we'll start it up and we'll check in once the computer is loaded up. All right. So as you can see, oh wait, hold on. Oh wait. Oh yeah. As you can see. Um, the memory, we have 16 gigabytes ready to use here. Uh, for some reason, only 10 is available. Is that normal? Is that normal? Yeah. But anyways. Well, you're using 5.1. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, my bad. I'm freaking blind, dude. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, okay, my bad. <laughs> uh, but you can see my current memory that was in there was actually uh, 2666 megahertz. And this new memory is clearly lower, which we knew. Uh, so as a result, the computer automatically is running at the lower speed. So uh, so it's obviously not ideal, but it's okay. Um, any last words, JH? Uh, Do you want check out my channel, yeah, subscribe, absolutely. leave a like, yep. leave a comment, mm -hmm. and yeah. We'll see you all next. Oh, wait, one more thing. So 96% of you, oh, it's not focused. 96% of you are not subscribed to this channel, uh, so make sure you hit that subscribe so you keep up to date on the newest content. Uh, and yeah, shout out to that 4% who are subscribed. And with that, uh, make sure you like, favorite, subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Also, check out JH channel yeah. in the description.